to the Runner X podcast, where we talk about all things running. As many runners know, it's 90% mental. So join Coach Valerie and Coach Caroline as we go through the mental side of running. Hello, and welcome to the Runner X podcast. I'm your host, Coach Caroline, and I'm here with Coach Valerie. Coach Valerie, we were talking recently about a book I'm reading, and it has it's, it's called Your Brain at Work. And I'm uh, reading it, or actually audio, <laughs> audio audible on it, um, because I'm trying to. It talks about like how to stay focused, how to how to be more um, have better, you know, mental acuity at work, because we're all so um, distracted and we have so much things going on and we get overwhelmed. And so it's a really interesting. It's an interesting book. And one of the things that he was talking about that made me think of us and the running was this idea that, of course, we all think we can multitask and we really can't. We can only do really well one thing at a time. And he said that your brain, your frontal prefrontal cortex is what's taking all this energy to do that one thing. But that your basal ganglia, the lower primitive part of your brain, will look for patterns and to make it easier on your prefrontal cortex. And it made me think of what we try to teach with our movement patterns and how we kind of ask you to don't think about, like, turn off your, your iPhone, you know, turn off your headset, right? Turn off your Garmin, just go out and focus on the running. And so what we were about to talk about was this idea of what is that one thing so that they're not multitasking. They're not thinking about more than one thing. They're not thinking about where their foot goes or, or you know, even what route they're doing. What is the one thing you want them to think about? Well, for me, the one thing is the one, your job. <laughs> and it's okay. pulling your foot, right? It's the up okay. of the, so the, here, here's, and this was kind of the question we can also add into that. So one of the things that we teach is that in the running, really your your job is to pull your foot up from the ground right and you have to be prepared and ready to do your job and in okay. order to do your job you have to be focused on your task basically right so i have to be ready to pull and the thing in running is that as soon as you pulled your foot you have to then prepare to pull the other one like you're yeah. always on. <laughs> There's no break. <laughs> right. It's pull right. the right foot, then pull the other foot. Pull one, pull the other, pull one, pull the other. And then you develop this rhythm. And that's the best part of running. And the rhythm also is with the breathing. And so the challenge we have is we want you to really focus on when it's time to pull the foot. First, I have to know what is pulling, right? And, and kind of get comfortable with that. And I have to let go. So this is part of our conversation. When you focus right. only on what to do, then you let go of things you don't need to worry about or have any effect on. So a lot of us are using a lot of other things in our running or trying to even control our running, like you mentioned, the right. using the heart, the garments and whatnot. <clears throat> and so you're right. So that multitasking that people are trying to do, we're trying to help you see, you don't need to do all that. You yeah. have one job. And if, the more you focus on that one thing, then it's great because it actually lets other things go. Well, and what's what's like I'm getting a, a an epiphany here is before we started the recording is I said I said well two things that and letting go and you made a really good point and and we just talked about this today when somebody says well I'm thinking let go no you don't want to think anything you just are right you only want to be worried about your job and pulling and I just realized as you were saying that is you're absolutely right you don't even want to have that thought in your head because as soon as you think let go you're not doing your job of pulling right you're you're literally trying to split your brain between the two tasks correct and you know what it, and it's funny like so many of us um, try to do things like to help us relax if you will like people will yeah be like, oh you should meditate <laughs> things like that and or do yoga right things like that and some of us aren't great at those things. And what people even that are, that are really good, like if you talk to people that do meditate or they do yoga, they're like, it's not that you need to spend an hour doing it. It's that you need right. to spend five minutes just breathing or just being like just, and that's 
true like meditation is like letting go of everything else and just focusing on your breathing. Well, running is really similar that way because the breath is so involved. The challenge is you don't get to just sit or lay, right? You've, you've, got, to right. Be, you've got to be moving as well. And some people will say to us, once we figure out that the focus needs to only be actually on breathing and pulling the foot, it becomes like a meditation without yeah. even knowing like what meditation really is supposed to feel like. We all kind of want to be that, right? That, that feeling of connection or unity or whatever with your body. And that's what we're trying to help you with is that you can find that by simply doing what you need to do. And you're right. It's really funny. You've ever been in a race. I know I have. And you'll see a sign. And it'll say, like, relax your shoulders. <laughs> and you're thinking, okay, relax my shoulders. Relax my shoulders. <laughs> you know, the reality is, 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 just like you said, as soon as I'm thinking, relax my shoulders, now I'm thinking about my shoulders. Yeah. Now I'm not, yeah. <laughs> relaxing, now I'm not relaxing my shoulders because now I'm thinking about my shoulders. And well, so and we then, don't even think that we're doing that. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, like, going back to that, like, short periods of time, that's what this guy was saying, is this idea that um, it's really, it takes a lot of mental, it's very exhausting, the energy that the brain takes up, and we don't even realize it. And so he was talking about this idea of this focused time, if if you're learning, you know, the cue and learning that, um the matter, the the pattern that we're trying to teach you, right, in holding your body, you know, in, in the correct posture and holding it in line and and literally like like you said, all I'm thinking gonna think about is pull and that's it. So that actually, whether you realize it or not, is exhausting to your brain. <laughs> so until after a period of time, the the Basal ganglia will take over and see the pattern, right? It'll begin to see what you're doing. Oh, oh, I see this new muscle pattern you're doing. Okay, I, I can now take take over some of this work so that your brain doesn't have to think pull as much, right? It becomes more natural. Right. And, and it's kind of like, at, go ahead. No, no. Well, I just want to say it's just in that same realm, the pull itself is a natural reflexive response of the right. hamstring that right. is already developed. Like what we teach you guys, this is just a great, to me, this was such a like, whoo, mind blow. We have a natural blueprint for running, all of us do. And, and you know, it's funny, like the born to run book. Um, yeah. <laughs> yes, in a hundred percent. And most, if you watch little toddlers and we all say this, you know, look at that, how they move so naturally. We're actually getting you back to the true connection of the body to the brain, which in running is like it uses running uses every single muscle in your body. It's the really the exercise that needs to be so focused because of that connection. So when you truly focus on what you're supposed to do, just like you were saying, and everything else starts to let go, it is it's like a reconnection to your natural movement. Isn't that neat? Like it's all yeah. connected that way. And that's kind of why I wanted to bring this up in the podcast is because, you know, people are always trying to say, well, well, what else? What else? You know, what's a good drill? What's a good self-care? What else? What else? Right. And at the end of the day, there isn't anything else. Truly, we're not hiding it from you. <laughs> and your brain can't you're not going to learn it if you try to think of more than one thing. That's mm -hmm. the point It's like focus on that one thing that your brain needs to be focused on, which is pulling. Right. And also, this is why when we teach, there's three elements in the run, in the gate cycle. And each drill that we give you has a purpose and an intent. And so we don't give you a drill that you try to think all three things at one time. Exactly. So every drill has one thought, one, one, focus, one, intent. one focus, right? Yeah. And so that's the coolest part, but the challenge is us. Like you have to think, okay, I have to only focus on this one thing. And, you yeah. know, Caroline and I were laughing earlier because she was like, I was actually trying, she goes, I realized, remember you said I, I was trying to listen to something and <laughs> read at the same time. Yeah. She's like, yeah. you can't do it. Yeah. But you tell yourself you can, you, you somehow, you know, all of us do that, right? Well, you and that was about. The that was the point this guy was making. He, he like, and that's what I said to you is that I realized, no, I, 
I could tell you what I read, but I couldn't tell you what I was listening to, or I could tell you what I was listening to, not tell you what I was read. Because honestly, whether you realize it or not, even though you think you're doing both, you're really only doing one of them, one of those objects. Right. And I tell people the same thing. Like when people first start with FrontRx, they get frustrated with me because I'm like, please take off your heart rate monitor, take off right. the garment and turn off your music. You've got to reconnect with you. And they're like, I can't run without my music. And I'm like, you're not even running. <laughs> you're yeah, and that's, music. <laughs> that's, I guess, the point that I want, wanted to make with this podcast is you really do have to, if you truly want to learn this, you really do have to disconnect. And like you said, it doesn't have to be for an hour. It can be for yeah, that, five okay, minutes. I'm just going to, five minutes, 10 minutes, you know, <laughs> just let's, let's let our brain focus on its task. It's taking a lot of energy. And actually by you trying to listen to something, trying to focus on, he was talking about the fact that just the idea of like, he gave the example of if you're, if you're in America and you always drive on the right side of the road, now you go to Europe and you're driving on the left side of the road to be able to now drive on the left side of the road and change the radio station is nearly impossible. I bet. <laughs> because it's the, just the changing. Now this is a new pattern driving on the left side of the road. Your prefrontal cortex is firing on like a thousand cylinders, right? right? So that's what I want people to understand is that when you're learning this new pattern, pull, you know, pull, pull, you know, doing what you, you know, breathing and all that, that pattern that you're trying to reinforce, your brain is just, wow, it's activated. So... <laughs> Don't try to listen to music. Don't try to do anything else. Don't think about where's my foot, where's, you know, are my, where are my shoulders or whatever. Just focus on that and, and it will come. But you got to let, got to let your prefrontal cortex figure it out so your basal ganglia can take it into its innate, you know, abilities. Thank you for joining us on the RunRx podcast. If you'd like to know more, join us at www.runnerx.fit. And if you have additional questions that you'd like answered on the podcast, email us at support at runnerx.fit. 